Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ria and welcome to my channel The Lady Dentist. We help you to master dentistry and progress a bit every day. Transient Facial Nerve Paralysis Why every time you inject inferior alveolar nerve block and the staff guiding you asks, Did you hit the bone? Yes, it's a very relatable scenario in OS postings. I'm here to answer you all the questions in this video related to transient facial nerve paralysis. First see what happens in facial nerve paralysis. In facial nerve paralysis, the patient suffers unilateral paralysis of facial muscles of expression. So, in the patient, you will notice obliteration of the nasolabial fold and drooping of the corner of mouth. Next, what you will notice when the patient attempt to smile, the mouth of the patient gets drawn to the opposite side or it gets deviated to the opposite side. What else you will see? You can notice the patient is unable to raise her eyebrow. And last observation would be inability of the patient to close her eyelid. You must be thinking why it occurs and how it occurs. It only happens to a patient if by mistake you inject local anesthesia within the parotid gland or parotid capsule in the facial nerve. Immediately there will be loss of motor action of the muscles of facial expression for hours. So next I will answer how to prevent such an incident. Ensure that the needle tip contact the bone before the solution is injected. Otherwise, you will end up injecting near the facial nerve within the parotid gland. Now, we are at the last part of the video to discuss management. Students, what I believe is mistakes can always be corrected next time. But being a doctor, we have to know the management to ensure patient safety. Keeping in mind that facial nerve paralysis can last for a few hours to 8 weeks sometimes, here's what you can do to manage a patient. First and foremost, reassure the patient and explain that it is transient. Do not give any false or high hopes to the patient. Then help the patient to remove contact lenses if the patient is wearing. Avoid or do not attempt any further dental treatment. And if the condition does not resolve in few hours, then instruct to apply an eye patch, especially during the night. Also, you can prescribe eye lubricant for the first week of patient's palsy. In cooperation with neurologist, prednisolone is also prescribed. Prednisolone has shown to increase the chances of recovery. Here is the chart below showing the dosage of prednisolone given. You can follow the chart or take consent of neurologist. Don't forget to subscribe.